Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about a kingdom man lives his faith publicly. Kurt Warner, in an interview with Focus on the Family uh, Breakaway Magazine editor Jesse Floria in 2001 said, My encouragement is to be bold wherever and whenever. It's pretty amazing to see what God's been able to do just because I was obedient and started to take those little steps to step out. Kurt Warner came out of nowhere to shock the NFL in 1999. Undrafted out of college, Warner played in an arena football league from 1995 to 1997. The St. Louis Rams signed him as a third string quarterback in 1998. When the Rams' starting quarterback got injured in 1999, Warner became the starter. For his first four games, Warner threw 14 touchdown passes, two more than the Rams had completed the entire 1998 season. When reporters asked about the secret to his success, Warner answered, It's my faith in Jesus Christ. He led the Rams to a victory at the Super Bowl, 34. Warner earned MVP honors, making him just the seventh player in, in, in football history to take home the, the league and Super Bowl MVP awards in the same year. During Warner's arena league days, he told his wife that his faith was between him and God and nobody else needed to know. But he became convicted about keeping Jesus a secret and decided to begin sharing his faith. Soon opportunities to serve Christ grew immeasurably. This is not a time for secret agent Christians or covert Jesus operatives. We need kingdom men who will step up and change the world. No one pays for a ticket to a football game just to watch the huddle. You have to break the huddle and show what you can do, dare to go public. That brings us to today's application questions. First question is, is how have you shown your faith in Christ today or lately? Number two, 2 Corinthians 5.20 says kingdom men are ambassadors for Christ. How should you act as Christ's ambassador? And number three, what hindrances are keeping you from being more public with your faith? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your many blessings. Father, we ask that you help us to break the huddle and go public for you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.